There was a moment there when it was absolutely perfect. I don't have the cash to make payroll. We're no one's going to stop supplying our engines. Of the 8,000 cars we've built, I've sold maybe 3,000. I owe Bank of America $20 million, and they own every car on this side of the Atlantic. All of their loans are being called in. Debt facilities canceled. Well, I mean, you know, things could get worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's over, buddy. Wait a minute. That's not, no, uh-uh, no, 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 I, I, I don't believe that. Not for a second. No, hey, look, you're, you're gonna think of something. You'll work it out. You always do, you know? You know what? This is a lot like that, uh, the car that your dad bought you. And you think, <laughs> no, it is. You, you, you got the whole thing laid out in front of you in a million pieces, and, and what did you do in that situation? You put that thing back together, you know, better than new. Because that's, I mean, that's who you are. No, I appreciate your optimism, Jim, but it's no good. No, 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 th th this is not optimism. It's not what's going on here. This is fact. You are a remarkable guy. You're a force of nature. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Me, I'm full of shit, right? But I know I'm full of shit, so there's charm in that, you know, I think, I hope, right? <laughs> but no, really, you, you actually get stuff done. Why don't you help me? Absolutely, whatever you need. I need to raise $30 million in the next 10 days. Uh -huh. And there's no bank, no hedge fund, no investor who's gonna lend it to me. But you know people.